Hello, everyone watching, and welcome to the collaboration space with AVI SPL. I'm Steph Beckett, your host, and I'm joined today by Paxson Laird, Sales Engineering Manager for Bose Professional, and LD Parker, Integration Branch Manager for AVI SPL. Welcome, you guys. Hi, thank you, Steph. Hi. So let's jump right into it. So schools, we know we've talked about it. Schools are right now trying their best to plan for the fall semester, but we know that's almost impossible to do because a lot of us feel like we're kind of out of the woods in terms of COVID, um, but there are still so many challenges to figuring out a plan or what's going to happen for fall. Um, so I did want to first ask, like, what are some of the challenges you've both seen when it comes to bringing students back? Yeah, it's a, it's a really good question, Steph, and it's it's kind of an interesting time for schools because um, students have gone through these different uh, iterations of learning, right? They've, they've experienced live full-time in-person learning, they've experienced full remote learning, and they've experienced hybrid learning. And so the students are a little bit more selective and a little bit more informed about the different options that are out there for them. Um, and, you know, we're, we're coming to the end of COVID, but not everybody's comfortable, right? So our expectation is that the students will, um, and the, sorry, the universities will really need to embrace for at least the short term, if not the long term, um, the hybrid learning environment of being able to support students that want to have that mixed experience. Um, and, you know, especially in the short term, the students that are just not comfortable coming back into these large classrooms and on uh, large campuses. And, and then there's the added thing of, you know, not only are universities wanting to encourage students to come back to school and to encourage them and, and show that it's safe there, um, they're having to en make enhancements to the different spaces to um, get the students back and then to get them back to their schools, right? Because that's the other thing that schools have been dealing with for a long time is just, you know, not only do we have to get the students there, but it, into the university that they're really trying to sell. Yeah, and you kind of touched on this, but I think that most of us, including students, are used to a certain level of really high quality audio and video when it comes to their at-home technology. Like this past year, we've all become really integrated in using that UCC technology as we're all working and studying and doing everything from home. So after using that for over a year, do you think that students have really high expectations for technology when it comes to lecture halls, auditoriums, and other centers on campus that they're going to be hopefully coming back to come fall? Steph, I, I think you're actually 100% correct there. Today's student is going to have a much higher expectation of, of the technological standards and what they're in-person experience is going to be like when they return to a, a campus of their choosing. And uh, to that end, uh, uh, educators need to make decisions of, of how they can best get their message to those students when they find themselves in a large lecture hall, in a student center, in one of the auditoria. Often these buildings are constructed in a way that may not have given uh, certain thoughts towards the technology that would be in them, especially as People look to renovate as, as uh, campuses grow. And so we need to, at AVISPL, find uh, technical solutions that we can provide uh, that, that overcome these challenges and solve these problems and make sure that the message. To that end, we often uh, partner up with preferred vendors such as Bose, who bring unique solutions uh, to our product offering and allow us to, as part of a, a wholly integrated system, address those immediate needs and find a, a very high-end solution that is also uh, respectful to uh, a university's ability to spend at any given time. And our ultimate focus is to uh, make sure that a, a message is delivered clearly um, with, with respect to the message itself um, and any uh, architectural requirements that might present themselves within these buildings. Yeah, and you touched on this, but many schools, universities, and colleges, they probably don't have the money to completely gut out all of the centers on their campus to build them from the ground up and make them acoustically perfect. So how can these existing spaces be upgraded to give students the quality audio and really great experience that they now really care about and kind of expect? Well, to that end, um, we look for specific uh, components within these types of systems that would make the most impact. Um, Bose is known for their speakers and they have a really unique product line um, that, that I've had some experience with that I'll let my good friend Paxson talk about. 
that allows us to, uh, as I mentioned, focus sound where it's needed. And uh, Paxson, please tell us about uh, my favorite loudspeaker that you have. Yeah, so thank you, thank you for that setup, LD. Appreciate it. Um, yeah, it's a it's a it's an interesting challenge, right? Of of getting sound into these spaces. They're lar often large spaces. They're architecturally challenging. They're acoustically challenging. Um, and when we're talking about a retrofit, which is often the case with universities, uh, we need a speaker that's low profile. Um, and so uh, we have a modular steerable line array that's often uh, a good solution for this. It's not, you know, the only speaker that we make is not the only solution for these spaces, but especially when we're looking at a retrofit, um, it, it can be a, a good solution. Um, and a column line array um, is a speaker that uh, is tall, um, but not very wide, and it really controls the sound, which helps with the vocal intelligibility for students, especially to be able to understand uh, what a professor is saying or an announcement um, in a student center or just having a band playing in a student center. The, the MSA 12X is a full range speaker, so it can support these larger events. Uh, but the nice thing about it is that it, it is low profile and you can kind of put it out of the way. Uh, you can put it higher up in the space uh, and you can actually shape the sound that's coming out of it. So if it's a raked floor lecture hall, um, that's great. And you can you can map just where the, the student seats are and ensure that you're not exciting the room, which makes it hard to understand audio. If it's something like a large student center where you have a large flat floor, you can once again stick it up higher so that it's not interfering with the other visual elements that are going to be happening in the room. Um, not in reach of the students and control the sound so that it's covering the entire floor. Uh, and then we just grow the loudspeaker as the space gets bigger. Um, so for, you know, they come in uh, one meter sticks and as the space gets bigger, you just add on speakers on top. So it's a really flexible solution in these retrofit type applications. So thank you guys both. Um, this has been Paxton Laird and LD Parker. I'm Steph Beckett and this is AVI SPL's The Collaboration Space. Thank you so much for watching. For more information, please visit avispl.com forward slash Bose hyphen professional.